Mac up box installation video. Tools Opening the package Unpacking and checking Installing the backup box Appearance Installation space Install mounting ears Mark the holes to be made using the marking out template. The backup box can be installed on a support or wall. This video illustrates how to install it on a support. After the mounting is completed, tighten the nuts on both sides with a torque wrench. Preparing cables Preparing the PE cable After the cable is stripped, crimp the OT terminal using a crimping tool. Preparing output power cables. Insert the exposed conductor into the cord end terminal after stripping the cable. Crimp the cord end terminal using a crimping tool. Preparing signal cables. Insert the exposed conductor into the cord end terminal after stripping the cable. Crimp the cord end terminal using a crimping tool. Install the PGND cable. Release the latch on the right and open the door of the backup box. Remove short circuit plates. Loosen the screws and remove the panel of the backup box. Electrical connections of the backup box, B1, 3 phase. Installing the off-grid output cable. Remove the locking cap and waterproof washer. Route the wires through the locking cap and then the waterproof washer. Route the wires through the off-grid load hole. Wires must be connected based on the sequence in table X1. Insert the wires into the respective terminals. Tighten the screws using a screwdriver. Install the waterproof washer and locking cap. Installing the grid AC input cable. Route the wires through the grid AC output hole. Wires must be connected based on the sequence in table X2. Insert the wires into the respective terminals. Tighten the screws using a screwdriver. Install the waterproof washer and locking cap.
Installing the inverter AC input cable. Route the wires through the inverter AC input hole. Wires must be connected based on the sequence in table X3. Ensure that the phase sequence of the X3 terminal block is the same as that of the inverter AC terminal. Install the waterproof washer and locking cap. Installing short circuit plates. If it is not allowed to disconnect the neutral wire from the grid in off-grid mode for example. In Australia. Insert a short circuit plate into terminals 4 and 5 of the grid AC terminal block X2. If it is required to disconnect the neutral wire in off-grid mode for example. In Germany. Insert a short circuit plate into terminals 12 and 13 of the inverter AC terminal block X3. Installing the signal cable. Remove the locking cap and waterproof washer from the signal hole. Route the signal cable through the locking cap and then the inverter signal hole. Pin definitions of the communications port. Connecting the communications terminal of the inverter. Electrical connections of the backup box B0, single phase. Installing the off-grid output cable. Installing the grid AC input cable. Installing the inverter AC input cable. Ensure that the phase sequence of the X3 terminal block is the same as that of the inverter AC terminal. Installing short circuit plates. If it is not allowed to disconnect the neutral wire from the grid in off-grid mode for example, in Australia, Insert a short circuit plate into terminals 4 and 5 of the grid AC terminal block X2. If it is required to disconnect the neutral wire in off-grid mode for example, in Germany. Insert a short circuit plate into terminals 10 and 11 of the inverter AC terminal block X3. Installing the signal cable. Pin definitions of the communications port. Connecting the communications terminal of the inverter. Installation verification. After all cables are installed, reinstall the panel. Turn on the off-grid load switch. Close the cabinet door and lock the latch. Powering on the system. Steady green, the inverter is in grid tied mode. Steady orange, the inverter is in off grid output mode. Indicator 1 blinks orange slowly, the inverter is in off-grid standby mode. Steady green, the inverter is switched back to grid tied mode. Setting the grid tied and off-grid S mode.
Troubleshooting 3 Phase Backup Box Troubleshooting Single Phase Backup Box